Well, hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Just a little, little video this morning to <clears throat> let you know that Angela received a cardigan this morning and I'm afraid that offers anybody that wanted to buy it if it didn't fit Angela. I'm afraid Angela's keeping it. <laughs> she messaged me this morning. I didn't realise at first... Um, I was sitting, I was think I was in my kitchen and I could hear this ding, ding, and that's not my house phone, it's not my phone, and my phone, and my phone was upstairs anyway, and I thought my, my phone plays a, um, a Roy Orbison song, I think it's Pretty Woman, when it rings, so it wasn't that, and I hear this ding, ding, and it went on for ages, and then it stopped anyway, and, and I suddenly realised where it was, it was the Facebook Messenger, calling <laughs> so I had to go upstairs I got my phone and I, I checked on my phone and it was Angela telling me she had um, received the cardigan and she liked it so she was going to keep it she sent me a photograph so I'm going to show you the photograph now I do think it is a little bit big for her but um, she says she has a problem with her, um, her hip and her spine where a hips out of joint and it sticks out on one side so she prefers things bigger so that it hides those things that she doesn't want people to see but it was funny because when she when I got the phone I thought it was just a phone call but it was a video call of course one of those you know when you weren't expecting it I had no teeth in my hair was a mess and Angela picked her, she didn't have her teeth in either, we were both talking to each other on the uh, the, the phone. Well, she's got more teeth than me, it was only her front ones that were um, missing, mine's a full set, top and bottom. I had put them in, um, I'm going out down to my uh, granddaughter's this afternoon, she's not there, um, Craig's got the kids again, so I've had a message to, to go down and I thought I'd freshen my teeth were a bit, they felt a bit yucky because I never put them in anything last night so I put them in some stuff. <laughs> Just when Angela decided to um, to ring me, so I had a bit of a laugh at that and I said to her, I'm going to have to put my teeth in Angela, I can't even understand what I'm seeing without my teeth in. <laughs> so I had a little bit chat about this, that and the, um, the other and little family bit and it was nice actually talking to somebody on the um the video thing on facebook because it doesn't cost you anything when you're on um, facebook and you use um, the messenger all your you can make phone calls are free the video calls are free and all your messages that you send it saves you using it well i'm just on a page you go on uh, my phone so if i use um make phone calls or even messages cost me so I could talk as long as um, we wanted so I had a kind of bit chat you know about family and this that and the, um, the other and so I'm sorry everybody who wanted to buy a cardigan but um, <laughs> especially there was one lady in America um, messaged me like and she was hoping it wasn't going to fit um, Angela but I'm sorry Dagri but it did fit her <laughs> Well, it's not perfect. It could have done with shorter sleeves, but um, because of the way it came out, how the wool was thicker than um, double knitting, it made the um, the whole thing across wider, so that the sleeves it made the sleeves instead of it finishing here, the seam was there, so it made the sleeves longer. But Angela's happy, so I'm happy, and I thought I'd sit down and get a little bit of. I've got. Um, this one I'm doing for um for little Eddie. But I'm up to up to the armholes and I'm doing a full tutorial on my other channel on Sheila's Just Knitting. And my next bit I'm showing on there is just showing the shaping from the um, the armholes. So I've left that one until I can do that because um Craig Sherrill's my granddaughter's partner's messaged me and wants me to come down this afternoon so I'm not going to be able to do that but this is my knitting from a cardigan that started a long time ago for myself and I've had to sit and think the stitches I'm supposed to do. 
I'm saying it's that's a purl stitch, that's a knit stitch, and then I've got four knit stitches. Four knit stitches, and then there's another knit stitch, a purl stitch, a knit stitch. And this is the wrong side, and this here is the right side because this stitch down here is a slip stitch, so I know that's the right side because it actually looks the same and it's very similar on the other side. So I've had to sit and work it's that long since I've done this, I've had to sit and work it out. So I can't do any of um, Eddie's until uh, I do the little bit of um, video to show what I'm going to do on the um, because there are one or two people that are waiting for bits of the the tutorial that I'm going to put up so this is just a little bit of catch up on this knitting I'll probably take this one down with me down um, down my granddaughter's um, I know that um, Craig was out of work for a little while but um, he's starting another job delivering for Asda so he mustn't be working today, so Cheryl must be working, so she wants some help with the kids seeing as they're on holiday. I probably need some help after I've been there for a few hours and I get back home. So that's all I'm doing now, just a little bit, just a little update to let you know about Angela's cardigan and I'm going to show you a little just a little short video picture of um, Angela wearing a cardigan And I can see from Angela's face she's happy so. So if somebody's happy with what I, I do, I'm happy. I think it's going to take me quite a, um, a while to do this this cardigan because of the, um, the slip stitch it makes it. You know, it would be, I think that would be a bit longer if I wasn't slipping that stitch, but that's the way the pattern is. Because this is not my own pattern. It's, it's actually, it's a, um, it's a pattern I've done a little while ago for um, Tommy. I think I've done a little cardigan for Tommy with this pattern. But I altered it slightly because I think there was less stitches down here. I think there was only two stitches down the middle bit here. But I've got four stitches down. So I altered it slightly to suit myself because it was off a, um, a chunky pattern that I did for um, for Tommy. But actually it only just fit where it touched on him so I think that Letty's going to end up with it. So I'm going to have to do another one for, for Tommy, a little bit bigger than I did the last one because he wasn't, he was a little bit bigger than I thought, a bit taller, more, more tall than, um, than anything. So this is more or less similar to me making up my own pattern I've altered the pattern slightly to with it not being a uh, chunky wool it didn't stand out as much so a little bit of altering here and there and that's what I like to do with the um, patterns so that's my little bit for today a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll show you what else I get around to so bye for now